It was an immense endeavor to create this life-sized model of the renowned Constantine statue. In this video, we will delve into the original construction of the statue, the historical location, discovery, and the significance of its modern reproduction. Initially, embedded in Milan in 2022, it now graces the Capitolini Museums in Rome's Caffarelli Palace Garden. Just take a look at the sheer scale of this statue. It is truly colossal. Originally housed within the Basilica of Maxentius in Roman Forum, now been reconstructed to its original height for the first time ever, standing at approximately 36 feet tall, 12 meters, this model integrates 10 original fragments that produced and integrated thanks to the new technology like photogrammetry and laser printing. The 10 original fragments of the statue are stored in a beautiful courtyard of the Palace of Conservatori today Capitol Line Museum, together with other statues and marble fragments from the Imperial Roman era. The statue fragments are five lower limbs, three upper limbs, a torso and a recurved head. What happened to the rest of the statue? Statue was a correlative from the ancient Greek stone extremity, meaning a particular statue that among the ancient Greeks and Romans was crafted for stone, marble or ivory only for the naked parts of the body, like head, arms, hands and feet. For the remaining parts, less precious materials were used, such as wood forms sportive structures covered in drapery to hold the sculpted extremities. This framework was then painted and draped to conceal it from view. Acrolytes were primarily used by the ancients to create statues of deities intended for display in temple and, in some cases, could also depicted deified emperors. Recent studies suggest that Constantine's statue is a copy of the seated Jupiter type from the Jupiter Optimus Maximus temple in Rome whose remains are visible a few meters from the current location of the copy of the statue. The Jupiter statue in Rome was itself a copy of the famous statue of Zeus from Olympia by the great Greek sculpture of the 5th century BC Phidias. The fragments of the statue of Constantine were found in 1486 in the monumental basilica of Maxentius that was the original location of the statue. Basilica of Maxentius is one of the last great buildings to be constructed in the Forum area among Colosseum, the Temple of Venus and Rome, and the Forum Pacis. It was started by the Emperor Maxentius in 307 AD. Maxentius was defeated and died at the Battle of the Milvio Bridge against the forces of Constantine in 312 AD. The structure was then completed by Constantino that added at that time an apse on the short end of the basilica, and that is where the Constantino Colossal statue was accommodated. The one-to-one -one scale of reproduction of the Colossal statue of Constantino is an unprecedented feat. To accomplish this, a team of experts with diverse skills and the most modern technologies were employed. Thanks to the fragments of the original statue that have come down to us, the historian and archaeologist Salvatore Settis formulated his reconstruction hypothesis of the figure. This initial step was followed by the work of the Factum Foundation for Digital Technology and Preservation. Over nearly 10 months, the original fragments of the statue were scanned, subsequently using an innovative technique called the photogrammetry, processing of the required images was carried out, followed by the reconstruction based on Settis' hypothesis. 3D printing was utilized, employing resin and polyurethane. Final phase involved the reassembly of the various pieces, highlighting the themes between the pieces reproduced from the originals served on the Capitol Line Museums and those created based on the reconstruction hypothesis of 
from the Grand Statue. This reproduction also addresses historical inaccuracies, such as the positioning of Constantine's finger, now accurately depicted holding a staff rather than extended that was a Renaissance integration. Also the neck was not include, included in the scan, due it was Renaissance addition. Another fascinating detail about the head of Constantine is that there are several markings on the face that indicate it was recalled from an existing sculpture, some hypothesize Maxentius himself. Although many colossal statues from ancient Rome have been lost, like the Colossus near the Colosseum, we are fortunate to have preserved examples like this and others like the colossal Constantine bronze head, foot, hand and globe preserved inside the Capitoline Museum, next to the equestrian statue of Marc Aurelius, in the horrible modern hall designed by Carlo Monino architect, next to the Caffarelli Garden, where Costantino Renewed the statue is located. The statue of Costantino, especially his face, is different looking than other images of previous Roman emperors. Well, this is a really particular stylistic moment of a transition in classical art history of Rome. If you think about the history of Roman emperors and their images, you often see a combination of realism and idealism so that anyway the citizen of the Roman Empire could identify that particular emperor. So we know what Adrian looked like, or Trajan looked like, or Vespasian looked like, even if represented in a colossal statue. But here, Constantine doesn't look like either of those traditions. It is actually a kind of abstraction of the human body. There is something abstracted about the oval shape of his eyes, where we have sense of them being reduced to a geometric shapes. The way that his eyebrows form these semicircles around the ovals of his eyes. There is something that looks geometric about, not only his face, but his hair too. And maybe this is a sign of moving towards the symbolic way of representing that we see with the beginning of Christianity.